Hi guys, so tonight I'm going to do a quick read for my Aquarius. I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, take what resonates and leave the rest. Oh, the Empress card. Okay. Abundance, nurturing. Y'all could be like in a developmental stage. Could be like doing some decorating or rearranging or remodeling of something. But take it as it resonates. Matter. It doesn't matter if you're a female or a male. This is like really getting in touch with your feminine side for some of y'all like the feminine inside you you could be just being uh more nurturing more caring could be experiencing new life for some of y'all like the birth of a child you're experiencing new life maybe in the form of pregnancy romance business or elsewhere the Empress position upright may also be a signal that it's time to be kind to yourself and invest time in some self-care. Take comfort in knowing that the Empress has your back. So yeah, for some of y'all, it's a need to focus on you. Maybe a little time to refocus. You know, draw your attention inward. Take the time to really ground yourself. Things that really makes you at peace and more calm within yourself the strength card your inner strength and your inner power you're cool under pressure and retain compassion all the while even if it causes you harm you're patient and can accomplish great a great deal with your determination alone your strength will be rewarded shortly like I see something around your parenting, like maybe y'all are mothers or fathers and being a parent. Sometimes it's not always easy. Take it as it resonates, it's not gonna be for everybody, but sometimes our parenthood could be challenged. You know what I'm saying? Take a breather. If you are going through some challenges with a child or your children, you know, take a breather, take some time to yourself to refocus, realign yourself pray or whatever you resonate with meditate then you can come from a calm and loving and grounded place just find that strength you know you're so resilient you've overcame so much it's like don't give up because it's right there ground yourself and tap back into who you truly are don't give up you know on yourself because the energy you put out with the energy you get back in the six of cups so some of y'all could be like nostalgic about something this is like familiarity like happy memories reminiscing on something maybe your childhood you may be reminiscing about your childhood or thinking about someone from your past this is the card of childhood and can represent working with adolescence simplicity playfulness innocence protection and family Take the support available from family and close friends. So it's like if you're thinking about, like some of y'all could be like heavily focused or thinking about somebody from your past that you feel like really close to, you know, uh, a familiar feeling, like a safe place. Four of Wands. This could mean like celebration, harmony, engagement, like a reunion. So somebody from your past could be coming back and you guys could like deepen some sort of connection, uh, a passionate connection. And this could be like you're returning home, being with people in places most familiar. It could be like really healing for you to like go back to a place of like comfort and you feel protected, you know. Take this time to soak up the bliss and appreciate the good things in life. This is a good time to work on renovating or redecorating your home or space. So yeah, with the Empress card, that is too. This is like growing a garden or just creating, like making it more fresh and more comfortable, you know. But if this is a sign that if you did want to do something like, like painting or 
redoing some type of space in your home to make it more comfortable. This is a sign to go ahead and do that. Happiness, but a, a sense of freedom. Could be marriage for some people. Yeah, with the Hierophant, wow. This is like bringing a connection to the next phase. So yeah, it could be marriage for some of y'all. Could be really getting familiar around like religious, seeking out like a counselor or pastor for help, getting higher wisdom within yourself. But this is also like bringing, you know, some of y'all could be getting married, reconciling a connection. Like a connection from your past could be coming back and like y'all could really be taking it to the next level of commitment. Yeah, with the Ace of Swords, this is like clarity, like a mental breakthrough, success. Like your mind is getting sharper, new beginnings, decision. Some of y'all could have had surgery or going through surgery, but this is like a breakthrough, a positive breakthrough. A clear sign of encouragement. You're open to embracing new ideas, so jump freely at the next opportunity with open arms. Keep company with those that offer you inspiration and channel your energy into something that makes your heart happy. So yes, this is like positive energy. Oh wow, with the full card. This is like taking risks, new beginnings, new opportunities, spontaneous, trust in life. It's like adventurous, a new journey where you be filled with optimism, wonder, and courage. And you may be weighing off your options, but this is like an okay to go, you know? Love call. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. So somebody could be really thinking of you and about to let you know. Could be the person that's coming back that you could be, you know, taking this relationship to the next level with. You could be in separation with right now. Sadness, somebody is missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of their future. But they are coming back for you. Take it as it resonates. Everybody, I didn't want this to go this long. I hope this helped for my acquaintances. Until next time, thank you.